the shoreline of the south of England, a peaceful and attractive environment enjoyed by millions every year, the heart of a commercial tourist industry and home to residents who treasure its tranquility. At Swanage, Wessex Water needed to live up to their commitment to keep coastal waters free of pollution. They needed to renew sewage disposal pipes with minimum disruption to daily life in the area. The Victorian infrastructure for water supply and waste disposal is in need of repair. The pipe to this sewage outfall was porous and hold. It ran parallel to the shoreline in an awkward location. The cost of replacement would be high and the work would be disruptive and damaging to this very sensitive area. What was needed was a method of renovation that would provide a high quality solution that would last for at least 50 years and that would be flexible enough to cope with the problems of rocks, sea and weather. The subterra solution was to use the subline technique. The strength and bore of the existing installation could be used to contain a 750 mm medium density polyethylene pipe with its excellent flow and containment characteristics. The new liner pipe would be deformed to a smaller cross section, inserted and pulled through the existing pipe and then re-expanded to form a close fit. The length of run would be a total of 550 metres. The subline formed pipe would be inserted in two sections, running in two directions from a single excavated insertion point. Access to the site would have to be by sea. The operation would involve specialist teams to handle cranes and barges, diving operations and the forming, welding and reversion of the pipe. The partnership of Wessex Water, Contractors Dean and Dieball and Subterra managed the specialist units and established a critical path through the different stages. Subterra had to plan the timing of their operations to account for tide and variable weather. To minimise inconvenience for the local community, the pipe was stored at a suitable location near the site in 72 metre pre-fused lanes. The barge operation was run by Dean and Dieball Marine. To act as a protective guide pipe, one section was left in its natural full round shape and towed out to sea. It was the job of Subterra on shore to prepare and feed the pipe at all stages to take advantage of favourable windows in tide and weather. After towing by the barge, the guide pipe was floated out to sea while the other end was brought to shore at the insertion point. It was aligned to curve into line with the mouth of the outfall. This sacrificial sleeve was to protect the new liner pipe from abrasion against the rocks while it was being pulled into the existing sewageway. This was a day and night operation. At a point close to the target shoreline, the subline machine was set up. The subline machine changes the shape of the polyethylene pipe to temporarily produce a much smaller overall cross section. The strength of the pipe is not compromised in any way by this treatment and it will eventually be reverted to its original shape and diameter. The Subterra team have been trained to produce formed pipe at a steady and predictable rate. Before the pipe is deformed, lengths of pipe are welded together using butt fusion machinery. The pipe ends are trimmed, sections of pipe are exactly aligned, the heater plate is inserted between the pipe ends and the weld is made at a controlled pressure. The welds are de-beaded and are at least as strong as other parts of the pipe. Towing heads are fitted and adjusted so that pulling strains will not distort or damage the pipe ends.
As the pipe leaves the former, its shape is maintained by strapping and taping. Different combinations of strap and tape are used depending on the state of the hose pipe to be lined and the original inner wall. The rates of forming, welding and strapping can produce an almost continuous feed in cases where the pull through is next to and operates simultaneously with the forming process. By dawn on this occasion, a 300 meter length of fully formed pipe was ready. At Swanich, the requirement was to time the feeding of the pipe from the shoreline to match the tidal timetable and the ability of the barge to operate in short periods of favourable winter weather. The formed pipe is easy to handle in difficult conditions. Here it was being towed out to sea in a continuous formed and welded length. The 750mm pipe maintained a workable flexibility in its strapped and compressed form. Further along the shoreline, preparations at the access point were complete. The protective sleeve lay over potentially turbulent water and damaging rocks. The bore of the existing installation had been inspected and cleaned and a winching line fed through. Rising sea and wind conditions posed no threat to the deformed liner pipe as it was brought into position. The next step was to feed the leading end of the compressed liner into the seaward opening of the protective sleeve. The professional divers on the team had to cope with weather, tide and current. But the reduced cross-section and the flexibility of the subline formed liner meant that it was an easy fit inside the full diameter pipe section that was being used for protection. The liner pipe had been pulled through the sleeve over sea, rocks and other obstacles. The Subterra team guided the liner pipe as it was pulled into the mouth of the old outfall. The deformed pipe can easily handle a curved route, especially with the help of Subterra's experience in designing and fabricating the appropriate aids. The speed of the pull-through ran up to 4 metres per minute, with an average of 2 metres per minute, and this following a curved route underground with the exceptional difficulties of the restricted seashore location. The winch at the other end of the section to be renovated pulled through the 300 metres of pipe at a maximum pull weight of 8 tonnes in this case, one-fifth of the maximum permitted for this size and SDR of polyethylene pipe. The liner pipe was in place on schedule, a performance critical to the other extensive renovation and improvement activities being carried out by Wessex Water at Swanage. Once the pipe is in place, both ends are restored to their original round shape. Proprietary end termination fittings are put in place. Water pressure is then applied to revert the liner pipe to its original shape. The pipe expands, snapping the restraining bands. After about 40 minutes, this 300 meter length had resumed its original shape and continued to revert to its full diameter forming a close fit in its new location. The subline technique equally applies to pipe sizes as large as 1600 millimetres that can carry sewage or potable water. The technique has industrial applications and has potential in gas distribution. In this case, the pipe infrastructure of a vulnerable part of Britain's coastline has been fully renovated with little disturbance to people's daily lives and no environmental damage. This form of renovation minimizes disruption to the community and cuts down on delays in a project timetable.
Design procedures have been developed by Subterra to ensure that such liners will last at least 50 years. Above all, the subline solution provides quick, cost-effective results of the highest quality.